See how hot he got that? That's probably close to 2,000 degrees now. I knew I was going to be an artist since fifth grade. Uh, my father was a sculptor. Uh, my mother was his model, and that's how they met. Uh, and she totally encourages me all the time uh, to, to um, go ahead and pursue my, my creative stuff. Molten glass, spooled to the end of a blowpipe, is deftly manipulated into a work of art at a roadside shop and gallery in Parksville. Glass can be anything. Glass is one of the most unique materials there is. Over the span of an hour, using puffs of air, the glowing ore above hot glass is expanded, stretched, spun, and sculpted into a vessel under the watchful eye of the pioneer of art glass in Canada, Robert Held. Now, this is the most critical part, is that that very small little bit of glass has to support all this. Glass is what we call a supercooled liquid, so it never ever really gets solid, not crystalline, not like a crystal. It, it only gets softer and harder. Bob has been creating solid and blown glass forms for over 40 years. When you come in to see in the showroom, there's a variety of, lots of variety of things. Some of which I made by myself, some which I collaborate, and some which I, I design everything here, but I don't actually physically make them all, but I design everything here. He initially began his career as head of ceramics at Sheridan College School of Design in Ontario in 1967. Less than a year into his new job, pottery was put on the back burner when a summer course taken at a school in North yeah, Carolina a sparked a whole new love. Well, just, yeah, just heat up and then maybe just down a bit. Second day, blowing glass, I knew I would never really go back and make pots again. The color, the immediacy, the hot, uh, the excitement of it all was much more than uh, the clay, which is a pretty sedate kind of thing, you know. So the glass was so much more exciting, and uh, so I went back to Sheridan. Started, took a long time, but I started a, the glass program there as well, so, and it's still going. Bob taught the art of glass blowing for 10 years before opening up his own studio in Calgary and eventually Vancouver, making beautiful glass creations that are carried in gift shops throughout North America, Japan, and Europe. I did a series called Crucibles, and these crucibles are like my paintings. So I lay this all out, there's dichroic glass, there's gold and silver foil, there's all sorts of things that I do on the surface here. But some of the things that I do after that is you have to look inside and see the gold. That's 24 karat gold foil inside. And uh, we, uh, we did these for Waterford Crystal. One piece even holds court in Her Majesty's Royal Collection. Commissioned by the government of BC um, to present to the Queen uh, something made from the people of uh, BC to her. So Bob fashioned a bowl with 24 karat maple leaves accented with the northern lights. This was a prototype. The one I made for her was about this much bigger. And what I like making most, of course, is unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. But I know I have to make the functional production pieces to help, help pay for that. So this order is for Bouchard Garden. Hundreds of glass creations that line shelves at the back of the shop are reminders of the countless hours Bob has expended over the decades experimenting with designs, techniques, shapes and colors. Very difficult to, uh, to sustain yourself making just art uh, because you have to have certain people that love your art to sustain you. So I have some, but you know, I, I needed the production line to make sure that I was able to make the art. A new relationship spurred a change of lifestyle and brought him to Vancouver Island. I was ready to leave Vancouver. I was tired. I had a big, big shop there and up to 30 employees and I just said, well, I'm, I'm ready to retire. The urge to create was stronger than his desire to kick back and take it easy. This building kept calling to me. Every time I drove back and forth, it said glass studio. My very first glass shop in, in, at Sheridan College I built a Quonset, so there was something that was calling me about this. But like I could say, the, the, the ghost of the glass gods said, you can't stop now because I do have some more things I want to say, uh, those unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. The doors opened on the Robert Held Art Glass Shop in Parksville in 2013, where he and fellow artisan glassblowers share their passion for creating with glass. 
for Go on Shaw TV. I'm Annette Lucas.